Hi guys, Sam out here at the International 2014 Playoffs. I'm joined here by On Gamers Josh once again, who's going to translate for VC Gaming Silo. Uh, can you just uh, express my privilege of him doing an interview with us and ask him how his international has been going so far? Uh, uh, feels very good so far. Uh, feels like the format is better than in the past, so overall pretty good. You mentioned format there. Is, is it the best of ones? Is it the fact that not every team has um, is going to go to the main event, or is it like a combination of things? So mainly, uh, it's the format is better because everyone plays everyone now uh, in a round, round robin best of one, and uh, that means that means it's more fair. So it's not going to be influenced by things like uh, seeding or whatever, like different one group being tougher right. than the other. And also the way the format is set up makes the group stage a lot more important. So people are actually going to go all out and play. There won't be things like hiding strats or like people just doing poorly and then still going on. It's more fair. Speaking of uh, strategy, um, how does a team like VC Gaming prepare for an international event of this scale? You know, you've got 15 of the best teams here to face up against. And some teams who you haven't actually seen in a while What's what's kind of like the setup for you guys leading into an international? So, uh, it's, it's a lot of watching replays and watching people play. Um, it, even though some teams they haven't really played or seen seen um, before today or before this, this event, they can watch them play at the event itself. So as it goes on, they can start learning more and watching more replays like that. Okay, I remember reading um, just shortly after you guys received your invite, you made a comment in an interview that you were kind of Almost surprised that you received a direct invite. Does it make you proud that you're now sitting on top of the leaderboards? Um, we're on day two for you guys, and obviously there's quite a lot of games left. But you're at the moment, you know, one of the strongest teams here right now. Does that make you proud? Uh,感觉是挺好，因为当时我们也是听国内的可能哪个媒体或者或者新闻的说，因为国内我们当时以为只邀请两个队嘛，当时国内成绩最好的是DK和IG。所以我们当时也不确定自己会不会邀请，我们有也有咨询过那个那个河马和那个Sfog嘛。然后后面好像回复说他是没有限定两个名额，所以让我们当时挺意外。然后这次因为我们之前成绩就是在两个出国的比
Uh, definitely uh, prefer to be able to play in these events because in training you might, you know, you scream with someone, it, it might just be a part of their real ability, whereas in events it's everyone's, you know, going all out. Okay. Can you give the uh, Western crowd at home kind of an idea of, of how much, uh, what, what's kind of like the reaction from the Eastern community and like how much pressure they apply onto teams? Are they very... Um, are they very emotional fans? Like, do they are they very punishing? Like, if you lose, are they very angry? If you win, are they very happy? It's like, can you give an idea of what kind of pressure you get from home? 在国内打压力是挺大的吧？因为你输了会喷，可能你赢了也也会被喷。就国内一般就这样，也习惯了吧？打职业在国内打职业久了也习惯了。So uh, maybe playing events in China, uh, there definitely is quite a bit of pressure because you lose, you get flamed. You win, you might still get flamed. So there's pressure all around, but uh, with time, you sort of get used to it. I wanted to discuss your kind of backstory into Dota and especially Burning, being you know your idol you've mentioned in the past, and kind of like how it, how it feels to be at an international event you know, with such a big prize pool online and playing alongside, you know, people like Burning and, and your, your idols. 感觉肯定很开心啊，因为我打多他这个游戏，我就是从一直看着碧神的录像嘛，然后看着他录像可能慢慢成长的，所以他是我一直以来的偶像。然后跟他在这么大的赛事上交手，我也是自己很开心的。Uh, that's absolutely a very happy thing because uh, from from when he was young, he played and he. Played watching Burning's replays, learned learned and grew from watching Burning play. So to be able to play against him on such a stage is a very joyous thing. And looking at the rest of the, uh, today, you are due to play against Newbie later on. How confident are you going into that game, seeing that they've um, Newbie's dropped quite a few games today? Does that fire you up, or is it is it kind of risky? Every game is is risky. Uh, we have confidence, but we are with this team. 在国内也教授比较多嘛，我们和这个队训练，其实我们输的很多很多。我们和这个队训练，基本属于打十把，我们只能赢一两把那种。但是我们比赛可能会好有所好转吧，因为我们和这个队，从我们组建和这个队训练就是一直会很低训练的胜率。但是我们比赛其实是一直都有的打。啊、uh, ，so in in training。They are uh, playing against newbie scrimming. They tend to lose maybe eight or nine out of ten. So okay. they've always had bad results in scrims against them. However, in real matches, it's it tends to be back and forth. So uh, yeah, they, they, he feels like they have a chance. And disregarding that anyway, right now they feel confident in themselves. So that's how that's how they feel right now. As it stands at the moment, you guys are looking like you're heading towards the main event. Now at the main event, there's a lot of money on the line. There's a lot of people in the crowd. We're talking like more than 10,000 people watching you play Dota. Thinking about those numbers and, and the pressure and everything that surrounds it, I mean, how, how does a player deal with that kind of situation? We, because I've been playing for a long time, it's probably a little bit of pressure for me. It's a little bit of pressure for me. It's a little bit of pressure for me. But now it's not going to be a problem. Because 打的也久了 ，TI 打了两两三届，就是现场观众也多，可能给你的动力会更大。你你选手的那种也会比较亢奋吧。啊、uh, ，So he's played. He says he's played, you know, quite a few, quite a while, and also quite a few TIs. So it uh, it doesn't necessarily add more pressure. It's there. They're used to it, and it might actually add more motivation. You know, get you more excited, pumped up to go. Okay, you do have a match coming up pretty soon, and you're trying to spectate the games here, so I'm going to let you shoot. But I really want to thank you for your time, Salah, and obviously give you time to say thanks to your fans back home, and your team and your sponsors. Uh, thank you for all the support. We will try our best to Thank you for all the support, and we will try our best to play well later. All right, thank you, Salah, and thank you, Josh, for translating. And on game is here all week, so stick with us.